Hello and welcome to Show Up Stand Out Online Visibility Series for Entrepreneurs. My name is Juliet Stapleton. I'm a visibility strategist. And today I'm bringing you my guest, Will Carlos, who is an energy healer. And Carlos helps other people to make changes they want in life through his work as an energy healer using energetic magic. So my very first question, and before Carlos introduces himself, what the heck is energetic magic? <laughs> yeah. I figure that would be probably most, most on people's minds when they watch this because not everyone is familiar with energy healing. Uh, so if you are or have never heard of uh, energy healing, Reiki, a lot of people have heard of Reiki, so that's a very common one. But what I do is very different, actually. It's, it's mostly online, and it's in a conversation just like this. So energetic magic is just one of the many forms of distance energy healing. And what I do is I literally have a conversation with people. We just talk about an issue in their life, and then I pick up on... Where is the energy stuck? What words kind of jump out energetically or intuitively? And then we dive into there to find out what are the, what are the limiting beliefs for one? And then what are the stuck energy patterns for two? And then is there any, anything else that we have to clear out of the way? So that's, you know, without, it's like asking a mechanic, you know, what is a mechanic if you have no idea what a car even is? To go into the details, you just get more confused. So that's the broad strokes of, of what I do. So how did you end up doing this? What brought you into this place? Well, I've been doing this similar kind of work for 10 or 12 years when I first started, you know, since the very first personal development book that I read. So I started my first business that I started was, was years ago in direct sales, which I'm still involved with now. But at the time, it was my main focus. And I, because of that business, found personal development. I found Tony Robbins. So I was reading this Tony Robbins book, and I'm just devouring it. And then I went and I tried all these Tony Robbins techniques on all the people in my life. Well, they didn't really appreciate that very much because I wasn't a trained coach. I didn't know what I was doing. And they, and the biggest thing, they never asked me, you know, could you help me with this area of my life? I just started, you know, doing Tony Robbins and everyone. But that, that showed me that I had a real passion and interest. So over the, over the next decade, 12 years, I trained as a life coach. I trained in many different modalities for energy healing, you know, uh, EFT, you know, emotional freedom technique, vortex healing. Uh, Reiki level one, but all these things, I never dove deep on them. I, I really only did the first course uh, and tried them out of myself and all to varying degrees of success. So when I found um, two things, one is Access Consciousness, who I love. They have amazing stuff online. You can look them up on YouTube. They're great. So when I found their stuff, I started using their language processing style of energy clearing and things started to really move. And I was able to magic into my life the money I needed for the first course that they offer called the uh, Access Bars. So I magicked an extra $300 in, I think it was a month, maybe two months. And my income wasn't that good at the time. So that was, that was a big deal. Did their first course. And then I also found this guy named Shiraz in Toronto, in Canada. And he was doing what he called energetic magic, which he put together from a lot of different places. So I combined his energetic magic with Access Consciousness. And now I've created my own flavor, which my business is called Spiritual Clarity. So my number one thing is I want people to have more clarity. I want them to feel more clear, be more clear, to have that weight lifted off their shoulders. Because for me, you know, motivation, action, um, uh, feeling like a good person, all these different things come from clarity. If you don't have clarity, then you don't have anything. You could try to get inspired, but if you're trying to be inspired on top of a whole bunch of not clear, it just doesn't last very long. So... I, I don't know if that was too that. long of an answer, but that's my answer. <laughs> I 100% agree. And in fact, in my journey, um, well, I do believe that you need to start taking action before you get clear, because that's how you get clear as well. But while you're taking action, it's not just, you know, sort of blindfolded, and you just bump into the walls around you, you do need to seek clarity 100%. And for me personally, I always seek out people like yourself, who are working with the energy and trying to, to help, uh, not trying, but helping with getting clarity in this, that or the other area or, um, you know, addressing blocks that we have, maybe, um, you know, from this life, past life, whatever. Uh, and in my journey, it always helped me get the actual clarity then on things, the important things like my ideal client or, you know, what, what am I actually good at and things like that. So um, an interesting thing as well, you know, a lot of people who are not very familiar with the energy work, they sort of say, okay, well, well, I tried Reiki, it didn't work for me. I tried this, it didn't work for me. Um, but I really think that everything... <laughs> 
how it works. Actually, I'm, I'm a Reiki level one. <laughs> everything works, but not everything works dramatically maybe at this point of your life um, in a way that you are ready to, to maybe, you know, you're ready for it. That's how I feel uh, about yeah. it. So sometimes you can do a Reiki session and didn't really show as much result as maybe you did a, an energy session with Will and that's just opened up your world you know, and changed your life. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so let's, so basically what you're talking about, so this is a kind of process, uh, where you identify what is, uh, keeping us stuck and negative and all beliefs. And through the conversation, you're helping us to release these things. Is that right? Yeah. Perfect. So I have a question then. Um, and the one thing that in my, uh, for me, the best, well, no, not the best, but the worst thing that happens usually is when things go well. When things go bad, I'm great at mobilizing everything and, you know, doing whatever it takes to overcome this. But when things are good, what I've noticed that every time there's much more, well, in the past at least, there was much more negative thoughts that started coming up and, you know, thinking about, you know, everything is great, but there must be something wrong. And that caused me thinking bad things about people who would give me money. And, you know, and, and in a way, even though everything is going fantastically, my brain wouldn't relax at that and would try and look for something else. So have you experienced this with your work with people? Is it a common thing? Yeah. <clears throat> and there's, and I just realized we didn't, we didn't plan this beforehand. So I, th I, I thought I'd ask. So we can either talk about like in a general sense, all the people that I've worked with or Juliet, like you and I could right now have a little mini session, an energy clearing session on, on your own version of that. So I'll, I'll let you think about that for a moment as I kind of answer your first question. And cause we didn't plan that. So I don't want to, I don't want to put you on the spot too much. Uh, so um, with, so with, in general, with people, yes. And that's, that's part of what inspired us to do this, this interview is that I had a, a Facebook live about self-sabotage and I, I didn't just want to recreate that one. I wanted to create fresh with you here now on the call with whatever energy comes up. Cause that's, that's often how I work is very spontaneous, very in the moment with whatever energy is present. So there's, there's two parts to it. One is that there are our, our internal beliefs, our subconscious beliefs, that deeper energy there, it's almost never conscious. And we have those thoughts to get triggered. So everything's going really well. And then we say, oh, but it always turns out badly in the end. <clears throat> or, uh, you know, oh my God, I just signed a new client, but I'm sure someone else is going to cancel. It's all going to balance out. Or, oh my God, I just got my website up, but it's probably really crappy. So that could be a couple different things. One, and usually, and this is straight out of Access Consciousness, which I men mentioned earlier, they have a tool called who does this belong to? So you have the thought uh, like, oh, great. I just signed a, a new client. I hit my goal for the month. And then you have the thought, oh, but it's always, it always falls apart. Now feel for yourself, if this is you watching or even Juliet for you as well, with some of those negative thoughts, it may not be that one, but whatever your example is, just feel for yourself. Do you feel light when you have that thought or do you feel heavy? And if you feel heavy, it doesn't belong to you. It's a lie. Interesting. Hmm. And you can actually, you can actually return it to sender and you can attach love and consciousness as you return it so that that person doesn't just get stuck with a pile of crap. You know, you're not just saying, ha ha, take your crappy thought back. I don't want it anymore. You're returning it with love and consciousness attached. So the thought, you know, I, you just signed a new client. Oh, but they're, they're going to can't, someone's going to cancel because it always, it always, I always get taken down a peg or it always balances itself out or I never really make that much money or whatever it is. And you feel heavy. You feel like you got a backpack on or like a big heavy jacket. So in that moment, become aware and realize like, Oh, wait, who does this belong to? Does this belong to me or does it belong to someone else? And if you get lighter on the someone else, which you almost always do, then you can say, would I be willing to return this to sender with love and consciousness attached? So it's like a, just a statement that you and say to yourself. usually it goes. Wow. And you know what? 100% guys. I, I say it out loud. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, these things, the, the saying out loud statements, you know, uh, watching, being aware of uh, your thoughts, it really, really does work. Now, in your question, as much, guys, as I want to just you, to turn this session into uh, me getting a free session with Will, <laughs> I will be very <laughs> honest with you. I had, a, I had an energy clearing session yesterday with another um, um energy healer as well so what i know one thing is that don't mix the energy sessions together get one and then get <laughs> get it to process and i had a very powerful one i will tell you what i felt before um because i don't think that this is truth right now to me uh, but i feel before it was like this for example i get a really good client and i sign up like like a lot of money is going to come in over the next year uh but they didn't pay me on the discovery call and I would be, you know, thinking to myself, oh, my God, they're not going to pay. It contradicts completely the, the attitude the person had on the discovery call. But I would say to myself, oh, no, they didn't pay. And I wouldn't sleep at night. It would be affecting me. It, that was my, my reality in the past. I wouldn't sleep at night. And until that money was in my bank, I wouldn't rest because I, it all had to do with the money blocks and and insecurities and lack of confidence and you know especially in, so no no problem with confidence going and doing lives and being visible online but when it came to money it was a completely different thing it was anxiety and all the constantly af afraid or, or expecting things to fall apart you know, so that was me, but it's not my reality right now. And I have been, as I just confessed, because I do that, you know, that's why I have Will on the show as well. You know, I, I always seek the clarity, clarity from things I can't see or can't control or, or I can't control if it's subconscious or something mm -hmm. attached to me at some level, you know. So, um, so I think that maybe what we can uh, talk about on today is more sort of a general advice for people, um, what they can do like like for example sure. what you just uh what you just said that was a brilliant brilliant tip and things like that when yeah. when it comes okay, to great. and especially maybe because for entrepreneurs i think money issue is is money blocks are the, the biggest ones that we have especially when we don't have yeah. too much income gum coming yet you know then it's and it's hard to move confidently and grow your business when you are focused on the money rather than serving yeah okay cool yes yeah, so let's 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 jump into that so i'll do some of the the kind of clearing work that i do either in my facebook lives i also do it one-on-one -on -one with people i also do it in group programs but it's it's amazing how this work it still will work even if you're not watching this live and i know for some people watching this is the first time you're hearing this kind of thing that might blow your mind a little bit but i've experienced it for the last decade where i can listen to the recording of something and still feel energy shifts in my body. And you may feel them, you may not, but if, if that issue, if this issue that we're gonna talk about here is up for you, and you say yes, then something will clear. Now, if you say yes, but then you also at the same time say it to yourself, oh, but not really, then it's not gonna go. So I'll always end the clearing questions that I'm gonna ask with, are you willing to destroy that at the point of creation? I'll explain the whole statement I'm going to use in just a minute, but that's the end of it. So it's always, are you willing? So if you say yes, make it a yes, make it a full yes. And the word destroy, some people take issue with that. They say, well, why don't you just say release or let go? I'm like, well, you can say that too, but I think of it this way. If you have the perfect spot on a hillside that's overlooking the ocean, it's perfect for the sun and the wind and the everything, and you buy the, the property and you have your dream house in mind, but there's this dilapidated old piece of crap right on the building site that you know is going to be perfect for your house. You don't say, oh, it's okay. I don't destroy anything. I'm just going to build my house beside that house. You're going to have to look at that crappy house for the rest of your life. You could just destroy that old house, get rid of it, and start new and build your dream house. So when I say destroy, that's what I mean. So just wanted to explain that a little bit. So we're going to do some, some clearing questions. So is that, is that okay, Juliet? Absolutely. Am I going to answer them? Uh, well, you, I mean, you can for you, but I, I, I respect <laughs> if you if you just had your, your session yesterday, you're good. I mean, I, I sometimes do like daily in-depth, crazy clearing conversations, but you, you know what's true for you. So, so go with that. Well, so this well, is for everyone watching. Yeah, I've heard you saying that. I actually heard you saying that. And this is brilliant. I've heard you saying, are you willing to destroy it at the point, point of creation? I didn't get 
on your, uh, because I just ju jumped in, I think I didn't jump in on the one where you were explaining what it is, but you're always saying that. And now it makes absolutely perfect sense. In fact, I have to say for me personally, I love breaking, destroying things. They just, so they just don't exist. <laughs> Not just putting them away, except for clothes. I believe that we need to reuse our clothing and things like that. But, but usually if there's something that is broken and nobody else can get any use out of that, destroy, burn it. You know, completely, because it's exactly what you just explained. Why would you have it if it's no, not serving you? Just get it out of the yeah. universe existence altogether. Yeah. Yeah. And the neat thing is, too, when you're working directly with source energy, spirit, God, whatever you like to call that, um, God or, sp or spirit is never going to destroy something that could be used for something else. So let's say there's a perfectly good bathtub in that house. And you say, I want to destroy the house. Well, the contractors that you hired are kind of smart. They kind of go through the house first. They see, oh, that wall we could use, well, maybe not the wall, but you know, that bathtub we could use, that fridge we could, like they take out all the good stuff first and then they destroy it. So spirit does the same thing. If we destroy anything that has little elements that are still useful for you, spirit will take those and integrate them into your life. So you never have to be afraid that you're getting rid of some good stuff. So having said that, let's jump into the first one. So all the ways, this is for everyone on the call, and again, you can say yes or you can say no, it's up to you. All the ways that you are blocking the flow of receiving in order to justify other people's choices and the drama that they are creating. Would you be willing to destroy that at the point of creation? So... That one is, it's, so it's about receiving because when, when we do the self-sabotage thing, we're not, uh, well, there's a lot of things that could be going on, but one of the things for sure is that it's like a receiving just got too big. I even had a moment yesterday. <laughs> I've got like all these clients messaging me. I'm doing this Facebook system, marketing system that's working like, like almost too good at the moment, you know, knock on wood. And I had to say, I had to really like allow, just allow all these people that want to book sessions with me, just allow it because I didn't have time to respond to everyone. And I usually respond within a day and I, it's been three or four days for some of these people and I have not had the time to respond. So I had to just allow that and just receive that, that yes, I'm getting popular enough in my work that I have a four day wait time to respond to messages and that's okay. Can I, could I receive that much business. And even now as I'm talking to you and for everyone listening, you could do the same thing. Could you just like to see the energy coming towards you? Would you just be willing to just receive and just receive? Let's say you had a two week wait time, just receive. Could you just receive all those clients that are wanting to come that you might have a two week wait time, a month long wait time where you can't even respond to their questions and just receive that energy, just pull that energy in. And just notice for yourself, are you willing to let all that energy in? Or do you have to have all the answers first? So I have so, a question. Oh yeah, so go for it. If you feel light and you say yes fully, you feel like you're fully committed, that's good. You can receive that. What if you say, ah, not really? <laughs> uh, yeah, so there might be some stuff to return. Yeah, so there might be some stuff to return to sender. There might be a different belief that's kind of underneath that or, or screwing that one up. So if you are self-aware enough on your own, you can look that up in, in yourself internally, or you can give me a call, send me an email, or if you have another energy worker that you work with, that's great. Um, you know, I always, I, I call it, it's like massage, you know, I can massage my shoulders, I can massage my arms, but I can't really give a, give myself a full, a good full body massage. I got to go to the masseuse for that. So, you know, I still work with my energy guy on a weekly basis, sometimes a daily basis, uh, and I'm working with clients constantly. So, yeah, if you feel it didn't quite shift for you, feel free to reach out um, or, you know, get in touch with, with your person. Uh, but you can also try the return to sender. So you can say, oh, if the, maybe this doesn't, maybe this whole belief doesn't even belong to me, and that's why it still feels heavy. So could I return it to sender? Try that first and then, then see where you land. Wow, that's that's actually a brilliant thing. Do we have any more questions today? We're going to leave it at that because, guys, you can always rewind. Just rewind, like, what, five minutes from now back and do it again and then rewind and do it again. I have one more if we have a minute. Yeah. Well, I actually have a list of 20, but we got to, like, three, so... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll do a separate session on that. <laughs> sure, yeah. So, I, so with this one, because this is a good one. So all the ways that you are using your self-sabotage to validate other people's realities. Would you be willing to destroy that at the point of creation? And we won't explain that one. We'll just let that one sit for people and see, see how deep the energy can go for you. Cause it's a biggie. You could run that one all day long and it would still have some juice on it. But well, I think we'll leave it there for the energy part. I love it. I think it's a good decision. So, okay. And we're going to leave on that. But before we go, how can people get in touch with you? Well, where can they get more information and, and follow up and book a session? Yeah. So, so right now, as I mentioned, that Facebook marketing system, that's, that's going so well. Uh, anyone who's listening to this, and I know you may have a lot of people listening, so I might be shooting myself in the foot, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, you can have a free 25 minute session with me one-on-one -on -one through zoom, just like Juliet and, I, Juliet and I are having this call right now. And I'm doing the, at the moment, I'm doing those for anyone that messages me on Facebook. So you can either message me on Facebook because this will be posted on Facebook or you can go to myspiritualclarity.com and on there, there'll be a big button that says, book my free, clear what's in the way, energy healing session, and you can book with me. Now, if this, this, if you're seeing this interview like six months from now or even three months from now, that offer may not be up. So, you know, don't, um, you can't hold me to it. But if you go to my website and the button is still there, then you're welcome to book. And all I would say is, if you're really just kicking the tires and you, you're just like, you have no idea what energy healing is and you're probably not looking to work with anyone, I, I wouldn't book that because I'm really, I wanted to partner with people and work with people that are, that are intending to continue and go deeper on this work. You don't have to, it's not a commitment, but just that you have that intention. So if, if you really just have questions, I have tons of Facebook lives that are up. I have tons of group programs. I have a free Facebook group. There's lots of free content that I have. So you can definitely start there first and see if it's, if it's for you. That's actually um, a really good point there. And before I let you go, guys, I'm going to stress one one little thing. There's a lot of things that, uh, like, we're kindly offering free sessions, which which a brilliant way to get to know somebody. But it's not really a way of taking. Because what I've noticed, and I used to be a bargain hunter, free stock hunter. I used, I'm very lucky, and I still, I still win a lot of free sessions with friends, and you know, and that's good. I accept that, but. I always, I know that when something came to me for free uh, and say uh, it was like, you know, a, a strategy session that, of course, people, coaches always do those sessions in, in a view to, to get clients because this is all business anyway. But when I was taking advantage of those uh, sessions in the past, they never gave me any serve, like they didn't serve me. It's like when you are mm. not actually in, when you don't have an intention of really committing to something and a free session, is only a door to maybe committing into, um, you know, in my case, it's visibility in Will's case it's clearing your energy and you're not committing to that decision to yourself, you know, then that's a waste of time. You're not going to apply it. That free thing is not going to serve yeah. you. And that's why I agree, you know, don't book these free sessions because you think you're going to pick somebody's brain or you get something for free. They actually won't be serving you at all. It's all about commitment. And with commitment comes a different degree of uh, efficiency, how all these things will work for you in your life. So keep that mm -hmm. in mind. And if you're watching this in six months time, you either have to be prepared for waiting like three months <laughs> for a free session with Will. <laughs> Or the, I'm sure there's going to be something. So definitely check out uh, the website. What was the website again? It's myspiritualclarity.com. Perfect, guys. Will, thank you so much for being my wonderful guest today. You definitely gave us great tips. And guys, rewind. Now, probably 10 minutes from now, rewind and watch it again and answer those questions. And if you want, just bookmark this video and come back and answer more questions, you know, and if you, to yourself, or, you know, over a period of time, or the best thing to do is definitely get in touch with Will. And thank you so much for watching this. I will be shortly with you with another wonderful episode of Show Up, Stand Out. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments to this video and myself or Will will come back and answer them. Uh, thanks a million, everybody, and goodbye.